Redistricting, or reapportionment, in simplest terms, is redrawing the map of each state's legislative districts, the districts for each member of the state legislature, and the districts for each of that state's elected representatives serving in Washington. Every 10 years we go through a national census, and when that census is complete, each of the state proceeds the numbers of the changes in population within the state. Our Constitution requires that we then redraw our boundaries for ha Pennsylvania House and Senate candidates and representatives to make sure that they have this equal number of voters in each one of their areas. The new map for state legislative districts, designed from 2010 census data, should have been in place by now. Instead, the state Supreme Court has declared it illegal under the Constitution, ruling that the map splits too many municipalities unnecessarily. The Legislative Reapportionment Commission, which creates the map, must now start over again, and with little more than two months until the state's April 24th primary election. We're hoping to meet the existing April 24th primary deadline. If, if we cannot, I, I, you will see a movement to extend the primary to a later date. Um, and uh, that's certainly a possibility. But in the first instance, we have to submit new maps uh, b based on really what the court's directives were. The court changed its standards you know, going forward, and we have to address it. The Supreme Court has said the state will have to return to the existing decade-old maps until after this year's elections. But Majority Leader Representative Mike Torzai says all efforts must be made to avoid that result. The 2001 maps were troublesome when they were put into place, mind you, although they were upheld. But um, they violate uh, Minority Voting Rights Act. Without a doubt, they violate them. And also, uh, they violate the one-person, one-vote rule in this uh, country. Uh, the deviations are some 45 percent from the a district that has 51,000 people to a district that has 77,000 people. That, that dilutes people's individual vote and you can't have that. The Reapportionment Commission has already begun to work to create new House and Senate district maps, but at this point it's anybody's guess how the delay will disrupt this year's election schedule. We want to make certain that every, vo every voter's vote counts the same as their neighbor, so that at the end of the day each House member and each senator represents the same number of people. And that'll be the goal. Whether that happens for through this election cycle or gets pushed back to the 2014 election remains to be seen. But that's the goal at the end, that no voters are disenfranchised.